This is the City of Council Finance uh, Subcommittee for November 12th, 2015. Um, minutes for the prior meeting, uh, Councilor Risk, you said you'll have yours at the, for the Yeah, there's very few minutes. I just yep. didn't get them because there was And um, Councilor Kwasinski uh, uh, entertain a motion on we'll the minutes for the 12th. And I'll second that. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Two to zero on that. I know Dan had to abstain because he wasn't there. Mayor's communication, none mayor, right? I'm gonna forego that. Public speak. Anyone here to from the public that needs to speak? Okay. Uh, if I could maybe we could do just the one supplemental appropriation for because uh, Captain uh, has been here the police captain has been here for a whole hour with public safety so i'd like to get his out of the way and then we'll go to old business and then back to the chief for his two fire public fire cars so um captain alberti if you would like to uh which one are we doing we're going to do the police vehicles uh 42,692 for a marked police vehicle to replace the crown vic um, that's a newer one right yeah Captain, I guess you, I know you, uh, uh, Chief McMahon sent a letter basically you saying that uh, you you're replacing one of the last four. How many more of the Ford um, uh, Crown Vicks do we have? Right? After this, we'll have two left in the line. Two left. So that'll be. Uh, How is that? And um, I know there's a problem getting some of these uh, now. Is it going to be a. Do you mind if I keep them? Yeah. Yes, sir. So oh, I essentially, can it, but here you can at least have the forty-two thousand six hundred ninety-two dollar number. Yep. Yeah. That is based off a quote, a March quote. There hasn't been uh, any new quotes that we can draw from. Uh, the issue is that for the plant is so backed up, we can't get. I mean, we can't get these cars to MHQ, which is our reseller. You know, they mark up our cars and and, and equip them. MHQ is can't get a Ford out of the plant. They're so backed up. Uh, we have one now that we've been waiting for since, I want to say, early summer. I could be wrong on that. Um, it was. It was like yeah. um, the May, June time. Yeah. So we can't, we, we, can only, we can only push so fast, so fast and so hard to get, to get these cars out of the plant. Um, and they're not really listening to us either. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the biggest. Uh, yeah, no, no. They have, they have bigger problems than us. Um, so car nine, the one that we're replacing, the odometer has been stuck for a very long time. The motor repair um, hasn't had any left trying to fix it um, at 88,000 miles, and it's a 2009. The reality is I have a 2011 equivalent to that car with 108,000 miles. So this car, um, if the odometer was working, it's gonna probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of 120,000 miles, somewhere in that neighborhood. The oldest car on the fleet as we stand, and uh, rather than trading in this car, uh, I talked to the chief this afternoon, rather than trading it in, um, we would probably recommend giving it to another um, department to use. And I know, um, with Dr. Fi uh, the finance director, I know that there was some uh, conversation about getting an old Crown Vic from what? We, we've been recycling all our vehicles because we have a group, we have a lot of departments that need them, inspectors. Right. So and rather than trading it right. in, we're, we're going right. to turn it back over to, right. to the city. city. Yeah. Um, and, he, and the only thing I can stress again is we're putting in for the 42692 um, Whatever is above and beyond that, when we get a, a newer quote, um, we'll deal with it at the time, but I'm sure that's probably going to come by way of offsetting it with uh, truck forfeiture. I'm, I'm guessing we've done that in the past, but I'm just not sure exactly what the, what the chief has in mind there. But I'm assuming that's what it is. And I know we've, we were doing two and one at one point, but the, we've got a few cars through that drug thing. So I mean, are we, yeah, I have, we I mean have, you're moving, you're happy the way we're- The one that they're waiting for, um, Dan, is the one where they paid for most of it. Up, you know, the, it was the split, some, mm -hmm. of the, right. uh, some of the city, it was actually, um, funds that they had in their department right. and also uh, drug forfeiture, which they were able to get, be able to utilize that, yeah. a portion of it. And so the chief item I That's the vehicle they're waiting for. Right, that's the one that's, mm -hmm. they're actually, it's in, it, it, that vehicle is actually at MHQ now. Right. So we finally got Also, you are gonna get that one. Yeah, yep. 
five months or so, and the chief itemized in his in his letter um, to the mayor um, the vehicles that we did um, fund out of. Yes, out of the. Uh, right. Right. Any other? Councilors, have any other questions? Yeah. We don't. So we're definitely going to give it to another department, but you don't know who yet. Uh, what I've been doing is, <laughs> we we have a long list of departments that need them. Um, oh, okay. So what's been happening with the DPW is one was in dire need. Uh, you know, these are people that need new vehicles. Mm -hmm. So obviously, when we get when we can recycle, that plugs a hole. So the first was um, the DPW moves them down the line, but we had Parks and Rec that was in dire need of a truck last year. Right. So they're going to get uh, one of the DPW vehicles, and then what we're hoping is that as things move down the line again, um, because like with Patty, they use them, they'll move them from water to sewer to highway, you know. So we're hoping for one for our inspectors. We're in dire need of vehicles for our inspectors, our assessor's office, um, you know, the data collector, and also our building inspector. We have a local inspector and a building inspector. So. Um, I'm. Uh, we we need. You'll vehicle. find a vehicle. Oh, yes, we we're in desperate need there. They, the, these offices had vehicles before. Um, you know, you can't blame people for not wanting to use their own vehicle. So um, we're really hoping to get something down the line for them. Mm -hmm. And to that end, the Explorer. So the Car 11 is the, is the uh, not the Explorer. The Car 11 is the, the vehicle that's in uh, process now. That's going to replace our Expedition, which. Um, Joe said that he has a use for, so that the ex our expedition will go mm -hmm. to um, the DPW, and then the cruiser, car nine replacement. Can do in, a, in in past years, actually, it was a while ago, we had one of the old cruisers that was used in the assessor's office for many years until one time they went to pull out of the parking lot and. The steering went one way and the car went the other, <laughs> and it ended up coming off the road at, at a point in time. That was it. So, huh? so we, the, the you know, the inspectors' offices, they have a need for them, and they did have them in the past. But once those were of no longer use, we've been waiting for things to trickle down. Unfortunately, some of our things either blow up, burn up, or are totaled, so they don't trickle down. You know, but whenever they, whenever they can. Um, they, we need to, and, and 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 especially for offices like the inspectors, because they're just in town. So mm -hmm. you know, it, it doesn't get the wear and tear. So you can really get some some years out of them. A lot more value than with the trade in, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. For the for and a lot cheaper rather. than paying either mileage and you know, because we obviously we are required to pay you know fifty cents a mile. People are using their own vehicles. Mm -hmm. If we get a thousand dollars, it's a lot. Yeah. And we're going to get a lot more than a thousand dollars. Oh, yes. Just, I know you talked about the odometer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest of the car in decent yeah, order, you think? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 in it's in decent shape. It would be fine for um, a non-emergency. Right. Event. Not not for frontline use right. for your purposes. Right. But Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. That's my only question. And right. again, with the police, um, you know, I. I Hate using that expression, but you know, you know, thank God for drug money because you can see what's right, been, what purchased. been purchased. It's right. really has been a huge savings yeah, to our, you know, to our fleet. I'd like to make a motion. Sure. Approve. Okay. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the forty-two thousand six ninety-two from free cash for the police department for the purpose of a fully marked line cruiser. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero. I'll set a public hearing. Is it December fourth? Can somebody look at the first Wednesday in December? Or do we have a? I'll set it at the next meeting. We have a meeting next week for December. Yeah, December. Okay. Yeah, it could be December fourth. Okay, so December second is the December next 2nd. meeting. December second. Okay. So that would mean the public hearing would be at the sixteenth. No, no. I'll set the public hearing next week. Don't for the December. Oh, that's right. We're still in November. Right sorry. for the December. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. getting old fast enough. So the public uh, hearing will be for the December, December second meeting. If you can right. be there, Captain, that would be good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. your time tonight. Thank you, Dave. That was our only yes of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a quota. Yeah, they use that only yes. <laughs> that's why he likes to go first. <laughs> Yeah, but see, you still have a vehicle that drives. I don't. <laughs> That's not my fault. Whose fault is that? Yours. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If, uh, if we could go to the uh, old business, the first item, Chief, and it should be a fairly quick, um, is the uh, supplemental appropriation for 18000 for the protective clothing. 
Uh, I've already set public hearings on the, these four items for the next city council meeting, so this one will come up in the next council meeting, but we didn't actually take a vote on it. So if you just want to give us a brief, I know this is the dating of the, uh, you can't by state regulation. Right. I just This I is to replace the last, I think it's eight cents, no, 11 cents of gear that are no longer able to be used to go to the fire academy. Uh, NFPA has a standard where any gear any component of the gear that's more than 10 years old can't be used for live fire training. You can still use it to fight fires, but you can't use it for training, which hampers us. The problem we're in, in 2004, yeah, 2004, Chief Croak got a federal grant and we bought everybody all new gear head to toe, which was great. But the bad part is so all 30 sets came to the end of their life at the same time. I've been piecing it piecemeal in two or three sets a year on a budget and you know, their average they're about nineteen hundred dollars a set off the of state bid so there's not a lot of room in the budget to replace them and it's better that way because they're not all going to expire at the same time the problem is we just had uh, an opportunity for a fire academy like fire training class and half the department couldn't get in out so and we need to move that forward and, and replace those not only from a training point of view, but some of the guys' gear after 11 years is pretty good. Yeah. And you said this would be 11 cents? I think it was 11 cents. Like that. that gear is 11 years old. Yes. Is the 11 cents all of them, or are you staggering no, them? No, it's the other, it is to replace everybody but mine. Okay. So everybody will have gear that they can go live fire training with, and I can do mine next year on a budget. Is it, are you going to run into the same problem 11 years from now? I mean, is it, is no, it's what we've been doing is we've been hiring, we've been ordering new gear, okay. and I've been replacing it for the last four years as much as I could on a budget or what was left at the end of a year. So this is beyond budget. This is an appropriation yeah. to accomplish what you can't do in budget. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to come budget time, give me 18000 more in my budget. That's that a no. That's, <laughs> that's our job. That was, that that was quick. <laughs> Side question. Sure, guys. For that, and I'm not quite on the subject here, but I happen to be listening to the news this afternoon and, and reported a Connecticut incident where a firefighter's air pack was not tested prior to a live fire, and the firefighter died. As, it as doesn't surprise me. Yeah, they were in the, in, in the building. The air ran out prematurely, called for help, but didn't get help fast enough. How often do we check our Ours are done every year, which is the requirement. The requirement. Yeah, every year, they're, they're what the, the manufacturer's rep comes in and does what they call a flow test, where they make sure the right amount of air is moving, all the alarms work. Actually, ours were just done two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Good. But it's an annual requirement that they get done. Glad to hear that. Um, excuse me, can I just put in? I'm looking oh. for a conference room B. Downstairs. Downstairs. Oh, yes. One flight down. Yep. Thank Go you so much. center stairway. There's a center stairway right here on the right hand side. Just pass on the right hand side. Oh, thank you. So I'll make a motion to approve this. We need to do it. Mm -hmm. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the uh, $18,000 supplemental appropriation to purchase protective clothing for the fire department. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, we, I hate to keep bouncing around because it makes it hard for Councilor Risk who's taking minutes over there. But yeah. It's all right. If we could bounce back up to supplemental appropriations so we can get the fire chief out of here. Um, yeah, we've got to get rid of him. <laughs> and, uh, He's been here a while. <laughs> this is a $76,000 request for two vehicles. Um, uh, you want to pr purchase a Chevy Traverse SUV to replace the Ford Taurus. Uh, and a Chevy Traverse to replace the 2008 Expedition, which is recently taken off the road. And, uh, yeah, I guess a, uh, the 2008 Taurus was my car that met its untimely demise a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, and it will replace the 1999 Ford Expedition that was given to us in 2007 by the town of Russell, and will also replace the 2000 Ford Taurus station wagon, which will be repurposed to another department. Mm -hmm. 2007 Taurus? Uh, 2008 was the one that met its untimely demise. That's yours. Yeah, the 2000 Taurus is the wagon that'll be reassigned to another city department. I don't think Wayne's gonna want that go. So we're basically getting, replacing three vehicles with two. What was the demise? 
Uh, I was it was involved in an accident. It was totaled. Uh, was um, not that was the driver cited? <laughs> no, the driver didn't know what happened. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was looking at the roof. I couldn't figure out what happened. It was a three car. Four. Four. Because I actually hit the lady in front of me too. Because the car hit you from behind. Yeah. No, the guy behind me got hit from behind, and then I hit well, the car in front of me. Uh, multiple. Will, will, will we get any insurance on this? Yes. The same question. Kara? Yes. It, yes. And, and what we'll do is um, uh, Val will set up a special account for insurance recovery for that. And if it's timely enough, we'll be able to use that funds directly for the purchase of this. We'll put it on a purchase order. And if not, but the funds will only be able to use for that anyway. If not, they will go back into the city and come out as free, you know, in right. free cash so, next year. So we should get something back. Oh yes, we should actually. So they can only be used for vehicle replacement. Yes, in the fire department. It'll be an insurance recovery specifically for that. The one thing, another thing that Val has done is we used to have, you know, a, a lot of um, um, different accounts, miscellaneous accounts for that. She's cleaned them all up, so they do go back to the city every year, which is a good thing. Do, do, we, do we have any idea what that insurance thing is or that hasn't been so? It ha it's close to, like, it's in the 7,000 oh, so area. Yeah, so it's, it looks state. like it's going to be pretty good, but it's not, Set I haven't received exactly the figure from the from the um, insurance company yet, mm -hmm. and, I, and we haven't received anything else on the other end as to, like, they have instructions. We have to take a lot of the um, um, equipment out and you know things like that so there's charges to take things out and charges and reimbursements for things that were lost okay. so as to when we'll get that check but the minute we get it it'll be deposited into insurance recovery account specifically for that okay. and while we're talking about insurance i'm sure you're probably well aware of this but uh, for those who may not be listening to us oftentimes in the insurance companies they'll adjust based on if you put in a new battery that's or right a part or a new, t new mm -hmm. tires or some new components mm -hmm. of the vehicle and they'll give you some credit right on that. Uh, on an away tourist that's on an away tourist i'm not sure how much in general you're going to get that's exactly the parts, true yeah. jp that's a, that answers the question that what, what i was just talking to dan that's why it hasn't been determined right. we're negotiating on different things Absolutely. like you know lights and different things that computers different things that we need and and the values that we believe they are so that's why the exact amount hasn't been determined yet for that exact reason okay. um, chief one other how big are these traverses i'm not uh, they're about the size i brought a picture they're, they're pretty comparable in size to the ford explorers mm -hmm. um actually when you look at wheelbase and everything there's they're within inches of each other okay so we're all wheel drive that is a nice looking view. That's off the GM website, of course, it's kind of cool. <laughs> 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 Draw your picture. Can we, we can wait, what do you see the, the driver? Uh, the other one will be for the fire inspector because we're getting okay. rid of the Ford Explorer that has a hole in the frame and the motor burns a lot of oil and the Taurus wagon. The Ford Explorer, that's the one that kind of caught fire last time you started it up. That's yeah. why we took it off the, okay. right? We're getting wrong. Yes. I thought it we was won't be SUV. recycling. We're gonna have to have the top. That one's not going to, have to have the top ten cars. The, <laughs> we have the one with the stop signs holding up the floorboard. Yeah. The, the uh, yes. Yes. Of yeah. They course. only offer one shade of red. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One shade of red. <laughs> Just uh, for the other counselors, if they ask at the, uh, excuse me. Hi. I'm sorry. Oh no. Hi. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. What? Um, I just was going to. Uh, the four wheel drive, the all wheel drive. The other one was obviously front wheel drive, at least the Tauruses. The wagon, wagon was front wheel drive. My car was all wheel, all -wheel drive. drive. So, I mean, you want the all wheel drive much more, I would assume. Uh, yeah, because right now we're going into the winter with just one all wheel drive vehicle. Okay. And uh, th these will hold a little bit more equipment, too, if you're, I assume you're. Uh, I'm just looking for you know, yeah, it's more one of the functional biggest, for the biggest problems like the day of the microburst trying to wearing the, the dual hats of fire chief and emergency management director trying to run that incident out of a laptop in the front seat of my car it just doesn't work um, middle of the winter having all my gear in the trunk of my car when I get to a fire scene putting on cold gear that's been sitting in the trunk all, all winter all night is a little bit rough doesn't get any easier the older you get. Um, trying to work out of a front seat of a trunk of a car at an incident that size, you know, working, coordinating resources, it just doesn't doesn't work. Yep. So having the extra space, these vehicles come without the third row seating. 
to give more room to store equipment. Stuff that I have now currently, well, now that I'm using a pickup, it's just from haphazard, but we're trying to grab stuff out of the truck, map stuff, or trunk um, maps, things of that nature was just a nightmare. Okay, and I would assume it's not that much. I, there, I, I know you got it approximately the same as the Explorer, but I wouldn't think it's that much worse probably today than any of the other vehicles. The price rise, they're, they're within like the $200 of each other on the uh, Plymouth County bid. The traverses are not on the state bid, so that's why we had to go with uh, Plymouth County <laughs> bid. Um, and this one is at a eight to ten week delivery instead of eight to ten months. Right, as you heard the police team guys would be, would be in the same thing. Um, anything else, gentlemen, or JP? Happy to make a motion to approve. Mm -hmm. JP's ready. Mm -hmm. no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, two vehicles for the fire department. Mm -hmm. um, and for the sum of uh, $76,000 from free cash. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Three zero. Um, again, this will upset a public hearing next week, and it'll be for December 2nd. Okay. And the, um, your other one has already been set. Uh, the fire equipment is already set for next, for next week. week. Okay. So for a public hearing. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Okay, I guess now we can move back to old business so that we can get Patty out of here next. <laughs> um, we have two items from Public Works. I think that's it. The fifty thousand. We'll do first the fifty thousand for True Heart Drive, Adam Street Pump Station improvements. Patty, if you want to just kind of give us a, a little of a rundown what it involves or. Um, Adam Street. They want to replace both motors and the motor control panel. The electrical panel is still there. The motor control panel is still inside the building. It's actually a building on Adam Street. That's the only one that's still inside. So mm -hmm. in order, once they start changing things out, it has to come up to code. Okay. And to code means they would have to make it explosion proof for the building. So they want to put it to the outside. All our other panels are on the outside and the tamper proof stainless steel. So we're going to put it on the outside. Okay. okay. So Adam Street is the only now self-contained. It's still inside. Know, inside. So you're just in. moving the panel outside. Panel so outside, two new pumps and a control. Now, are these things that are broken down or just sort of preventative maintenance, things that are just worn? Um? They want, um, the pumps will be a lot more efficient, and they're getting old. So before they break, and then you have a catastrophe, <laughs> they're trying to keep them up. Um, you said the panel by code must be put outside. I just can't it's not even that. to make it, um, let's say, what's the word I'm looking for? Once you start to you know, once they start to mess with it, once you, you do any upgrade? changes, any yeah. upgrades, yeah. they would have to bring it up to code. Okay. And it's not up to code now, so mm -hmm. the cheapest way is to bring it outside and get it out of the building. So all the other stations, the code, the panels are outside. Just I have a question: Is there anything else inside that might have to come outside in the future? Do we? Or just the last? This is the last item. Or pumps are yeah, you certainly wouldn't want to bring up the whole building. I no. imagine you looked into that the cost of doing that. And True Heart Drive, they want to replace the motor control panel and two pumps. The same thing, higher efficiency pumps, update the pumps. And the motor control panel is just what switches to turn the power on and off. Do they have to be put outside too? No. They're, they're where they're supposed to be. I don't think that's actually a building. I think that's either the manhole one. Honestly, I haven't been out to visit. But that's not a, a building. I think it's a manhole in the ground and the panels are both down. Good. Anything else? I'll make a motion we approve. I'll second. Okay, a motion and a second to approve the $50,000 uh, from uh, retained earnings to capital projects for upgrades to the True Heart Drive and to the Adams Street Pump Station. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Three zero. Um, Patty, that one's already set for next Wednesday uh, for public hearing. If either you or Joe can do that, we'd be appreciated. We're going to do the water meter. Uh, yes, we're doing the 50000 now for water meters. I know this has been 
an ongoing expense we've had for several years now and uh, I guess we take one step forward and a half a step back or something where it'll, uh, never, go it'll never go away it'll never go away it'll never go away I went back and since 2001 capital appropriations we've gotten seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and out of budget we've spent probably about two hundred and fifty thousand on water meters did you happen to know how many meters that bought offhand um each year it's different because a lot of times it's just parts sometimes we go in but now with putting the radios on i think we're at 23 percent that don't have radios now so sometimes we can go in and just put a radio on sometimes the meter's not compatible so then we have to do the meter and so the meter is about 110 and the radio is about 125 and that's only if it's a small meter this year we had a couple of larger meters larger meters for a lot more money are we still buying new ones or are we to the point where we're just Recycling. replacing old ones we'll always be on that cycle there will always be the old ones and it's just going to continue right. i mean there's still new construction there's still right new things but but as far in. as new construction are we caught up anyway are we or all are radio still people no. that need no. 23% aren't radio aren't, aren't. aren't. so we have 23% that's still are not radio okay. radio so, so they still have to go up to the house okay. and do a manual so right now we're on a kick to try to get before winter comes we're on a section mm. and just trying to get the radio so when the guys go in they don't know if they can just put the radio on mm. or if they then have to change out the meter mm -hmm. So we just sent out a lot of letters. So these will be trying to replace all those non-radio ones. We don't first. know because it all we'll get a stop meter. You know, the guys will uh, go read, we'll get a zero read. So then you have to replace that one first. Oh, and you know where we're Unless going with Dan's this? House. Yeah. Between <laughs> Councilor Hagen and myself, oh, they they fix those meters. Oh, yeah. really, they really came really out. Fast. They came out and fixed yeah. mine. It's yeah. spinning like a top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say. When, you when ought to turn off your water. Yeah. It's spinning like a top. Now. When, they, when mine died and I called, boy, they were there really fast <laughs> to fix that meter. <laughs> You wouldn't here. want anybody thinking you were getting your water oh, for free. Oh, good graciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, there are charges for installation of a meter, as I no. recall, in terms no. of if you buy, build a new house no. and, and a meter goes in, there's no charge. No charge. You have to make sure there's a water connection fee. You're paying $1,250 to hook to the stub in the street. Okay, that's for the stub in the street, not for the meter cost. No, and then the only time you would pay for a meter is if you do not protect it and it freezes, then you would get charged for the meter as a frozen meter. Or how much, how much, how much do we charge for a frozen left meter? No heat. 150 150 oh. bucks. That happens on occasion. I in the winter, a lot. Yeah. People okay. just, yeah, people go away. They decide not to heat their house. They don't heat their basement. We go by, water's gushing out the back windows. <laughs> oh, and they have a water bill. Of, <laughs> yeah, they go, oh, that's I don't know if they had $500 before or after the Probably the, 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 the 150 is going to hurt when they get the water bill. Yeah. Yeah. But they yeah. want to pay for more cheap. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot of them. Yeah. People, a lot of people walking away from foreclosures. They just right. walk away. Right. We go by the meter reader can't look in the windows because they're all steamed up. Yep. Saves them a lot of money not shutting them off when they're <laughs> going. Any other questions on the water meters? Keep, keep, no. keep, keep those meters going. Keep <laughs> motion. <laughs> motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, fifty thousand dollars for replacement of our continuing replacement of water meters and making them radio designed. Any further discussion? No. 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 Aye. Aye. Three zero. Thank you. We did a free. Patty, that one's also set for next Wednesday. Perfect. Both are public hearings. So. Thank you. Thanks, Okay, Patty. thank you, Patty. Okay, we're, that takes care. Of, no, we have one more on. Uh, we want to do the one fifty k. One fifty from free cash to ca capital stabilization. I figured we'd get a big fight on this one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want you saving money. We want you to spend it. But you know something that Barb said. I, I can't imagine. She said this year's free cash. It was one of the highest in, in recent years. No, 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 that's it's so. under a million dollars. It, it was, was last year. No, last year, because yeah. so, yeah. yeah. you got it. You know. Oh, I know. I'm not, I, that's why I didn't believe her. I said yeah. last year we had all that new growth. I she, meant, she probably meant last year. Uh -huh. No, there was not. Last year was the. And you remember because last year was high because of 15 uh, cottage 15 and the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got all, all this tax money. The new exactly. Time money. That was our biggest tax title. You remember? We put it in the bank. So That's said, where, and we created a capital stabilization fund with it, which we're going to deposit into. Into, which is good. Which is good. Do we have? I, I probably asked this the last time we were doing this. 
How much is in capital stabilization? Oh, I have all my this? sheets ready. You Here, know. hold on. No. I'll give you a. I'll go give you a printout of everything. I have it right on my screen. Right on my. Well, no, no, no. Right on my screen. I didn't make it up. Uh, no, I actually I usually have it right with me. Seven or eight. Seven. Well, there's capital stabilization and regular stabilization. Which right. Is right. What, the diff, what they are. Now. Yeah, but you might want to know what's in everything. This is my one. I'll give you a whole sheet. I'll just give them the amounts instead of guessing at it. It's right on my, it's right on my screen saver. But do you have the ability? I don't know how You're this is. You're probably going to want to know what you have left in free cash. Right. That way it'd be, right. I can use it next Hold week. On. What's the regulation? If you suddenly need to use this for something that's not capital, although I don't know what it would be, can you move this money? Or are you allowed, or does it, can the council move the money? <laughs> In other words, don't even think about it, but yes, you can. Capital will be, <laughs> Capital will be 625 with this. With okay. this. Okay. JP, did someone say this is required by law to have a capital stabilization account? Mm -hmm. yeah. no. no. No, it's just that. I mean, look good when we go. You can have multiple stabilization accounts. Free cash will be six thirty four seven ten. What is it? Free cash will be six thirty four seven ten, and that's after everything I've given you. That, that includes everything what we've already you got on the everything sheet. Everything you received. Got and what's regular stabilization? Do you know? Okay. One sec. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one five five eight. One you got that one? One five four three. One five. You got that one. Melissa? I have 1543 million. 1543. That's flashing. That's the close of last year. We've made a lot of money. That's pretty good. That's one and a half million, right? We have over $2 million in stabilization funds of different types. An enterprise. 687828. Enterprise. 687828. Retained earnings? Yes. Six, what did you say? Six twenty-seven. Six eighty-seven. Six eighty-seven eight twenty-eight. Another pretty good. Well, I move that we spend the money instead of saving. <laughs> no. I say we give it all the school department. And, and, and like I said, that's with everything you have. That, that's currently. It doesn't matter whether you've approved it or not. What's on the agenda? It's, is, all, it's all in there. there. Okay, great. So, so the idea. So if everything this, goes. You'll still have these. Fees. That's what the months are. If we have an emergency fire truck, we need to replace it because mm -hmm. we've lost it completely and you don't have free cash anymore, you'd use it if there's an emergency. That's what we use these kind of things for. Okay. Now I have no problem. I'll move that we do it. Well, I'm second. <laughs> and this one is third. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion a second for a $150,000 transfer from free cash to the capital stabilization fund. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Okay, that takes care of all our old business, and the, as you know, Mayor, you that's already do? set for public hearing. So now we just have the pay plan on oh. supplemental appropriation. Um, it, explain this, Mayor. I know it's like, or maybe Jane, I don't know who wants to explain this, but this is like six months. Do I remember okay. this right? This it, I know this one's off the. Yeah, what this. I don't is, want to say off the cycle, but I know we always I'm get. I'm actually like sorry to say that this is um, this is six months behind. This would take effect January instead of what technically should have taken effect last July. Okay. So this should have been. I mean, wishfully would have been great if um, this increase could have been in the um, in the 16 budget. Um, that's when it was due. And, um, but it couldn't happen in the 16 budget. Um, so uh, we waited for free cash. So it's basically six months behind. Okay. So it, it would take effect uh, January 1st. In so essence, not, though, this is a permanent raise because you're not going to take it away. You give them 1.5%, it stays correct. there. Maybe next year if you can, that's you'll correct. do another call. But right. This. But, you know, like we, we've been talking about trying to keep things in, in accordance with the labor contract. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately I for the pay it. plan, they've missed six months they've of their six. increase. Okay. So their last increase was um, July of 2014. So it would have been great if we could have included this into July of this this year, which would have been fiscal 16. But 
it there, as you've seen with that budget, there were a lot of um, there were actually a lot of cuts and right. things like that. So it it, it, it couldn't happen. Why so not retroactive to thirty two? You didn't want to do that much. Well, uh, it would double the amount, but I mean. Well, I'm just curious yeah. why you didn't think that. Do that. I mean, you want to save the free cash. No. I mean, I do much. think that you know there were people that got kind of caught. You know, we lost a few. I don't necessarily there think that should be paid for by the pay plan people, but I mean, I do yeah, think I it's probably, I mean, everyone's still, I know the fire we've settled with finally, I mean, I think yeah. everyone, everyone oh, seems okay. to be trying to work in the city for the right. most. It makes sense. Right. But certainly I don't have a problem with this. Uh, oh, I think it's fair, absolutely fair. I like the notion that pay plan employees feel that they're going to get if, if the labor contracts are 1.5 mm -hmm. or something similar, the pay plan employees have an advocate that's going to, in the mayor, that is going to try and match that. And that's important because it's important to me that they, they, they feel as appreciated as we do our labor unions. That's my soapbox uh, statement. No, I'm just listening to your damn soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, ready to approve it. Motion to approve. Okay, we JP. Have a, we have a second motion second me. to approve. Uh, any further discussion? I just have one quick comment I forgot to say. There are pay plan people did get, if they haven't hit their maximum, did get their steps though, right? I mean, what we have done yeah. since um, right. since my administration is steps will be given when they're due, when which they're is due. the anniversary. Right. So I just wanted to make yes. sure they didn't also lose. And, you know, and, and it, we're over, well, as we get a few new people but at one time we were already over half of them uh, are max more mm -hmm. than half now but um, that will continue to happen until people are maxed okay. so at one time sadly enough um, we went five years without steps and that's just mm -hmm. not appropriate yes please. I think the motion has to be amended to include the ordinance that goes with it okay uh, so in, in other words this is the pay plan is is an ordinance is an ordinance this approves the financing for it so I think the motion should be to approve the financing and the ordinance to affect this uh, pay plan increase. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll make that motion. Then. Okay, we have a amended motion that this uh, sixteen thousand dollars will include uh, both the motion for the appropriation of uh, sixteen thousand to finance it and also the upgraded ordinance uh, setting it inside to the pay plan. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, I'll set the public hearing for the second. second. Do we have anything else? Is that supposed to go upstairs? The only other thing we have, and, and I, I, I'd like <laughs> to... Animal shelter? This would be fast. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, is, and maybe Jane, I know, is on the board. Uh, the, oh, uh, that's why Jane's here. Retirement <laughs> board has asked now to maybe oh, provide right. stipends. And I, I only left this for general discussion because I wanted to get a little sense from the board of... of of what we were looking for, who we, who we wanted to come down. In other words, uh, I think they're looking for stipends, Jamie, you could create for the board members and possibly the... There's three different categories. There's okay. the board members, yep. the auditor, and the treasurer. Treasurer. Um, the auditor and the treasurer right now are receiving $1,500. Okay. The board members are receiving nothing. Okay. And, and this would be up to again if we approve it the uh, retirement board if I understand it just so that we have it and, and again we'll have one more discussion on this but we could move up or you not us if we approve this it would be up to the board say for the treasurer or the auditor to move them up to as much as four thousand is it or forty five hundred or three thousand or board or was there can go to forty five hundred the treasurer has to be not and less the than auditor three. I believe we're up to would go automatically to three because is that if if it's approved right I mean so the way I understood it they were looking to put all three categories at three thousand three thousand okay. how does this affect our budget I know it's a tough question well, well I mean it's out of retirement mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's part of the operating budget yeah. of retirement so it would be so more we would have to increase that uh, you don't, you don't do that budget. That budget is funded from the retirement board. I mean, okay. it's such a small amount. I mean, I guess you could say... Small amount of unfunded liability or increasing the unfunded liability. not really. It's operating expense. Right. It's more like what you pay for the rent. It's that kind of cost, okay. which is part of the overall operations of the, the uh, system. 
So they pay for their financial advisors through that, and like they, they sit, submit to every winter a budget. You know, this is what it costs to have our two employees, to right. have health insurance for our two employees, to rent the space that we rent, have the copier we have, buy fax machines, that kind of thing. But so I think Dan wants to know where the funds, you know, so does that increase the funds, the appropriation that we give to the t retirement board every uh, year? They, 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 they had figured it into this year's budget. They already figured it in. With the understanding that it may not be used if it's not approved, but when they were doing the budget, they've been talking about this for a while. So when you're well, doing the budget planning, they put it in the budget. Do you think, Jane, this is this sounds like it's something we should do, but they don't get anything? Well, I'm looking at some information yeah, that the team provided, and there are 71 boards that provide stipends, and there are 31 that do not. 71 in the state? Correct. So 71 do, that was one of my questions, and 31 don't. Right. 48 of them are at $3,000, one is at $3,600. Three are at four thousand, and nineteen are at forty-five hundred. How they, many? How many board members do you do? To, that's um, <laughs> total. Myself, Jim Dunham, Don Emerson, and the new member is Connie. I can never remember his last name. So four. Four plus Val is the auditor. Mm. Yes. Who sits on? She right. also. Oh, she also. It, it's okay for you and Val to get a stipend given that you're but, already a city employee, because this is a separate independent, I just want to make sure. But then Melissa would make six. Correct. I'm, I'm not a board member. No, you're not a board member. No. So there, but the way it's written up in the regulations, there's the auditor section, the treasurer section, and the board member section. Would the auditor get a stipend for being a board member and for being an auditor? We had or? talked about that, and it was supposed to be that all three categories we're going to be at the 3,000. So she would but she would double dip. She would be one. Right. right. Okay. Um, she had request, so requested it, but it All right, so that I'm clear. Other board Correct. So that I'm clear, I thought you said 3,000 was what they requested. So that would mean that all six, there's five Correct. technically board members, and Melissa, all six would receive the 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 three thousand, not three thousand, and then an additional fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what that, I want to know. But it's right here, this one. Okay. Okay. Now the board is some of the board members put together stuff that they feel we have to do a lot of training. There's a lot of continuing ed requirements for us mm -hmm. to be on the board. They felt that we also have to provide the um, statements of financial interest personal, financial, um, and then the conferences and the board meetings is what they're So there's a lot of time, a lot of training, a lot of education. How, how many actual meetings, Jane, do you have? Once a month. Once a month. There's two conferences, one in the spring, one in the fall, that are multi-day. Okay, uh, as I said, when I put this on the agenda, I wanted to just kind of get some general information. I think, um, could we have the, uh, I don't know who's the, chi the, the chair of the, are you, are you chair or is Mr. Dunham, Mr. Dunham still chair? Mr. Dunham, he was going to be here, but he had a death in the family. Oh, okay. And how about the, I assume the, I don't want to mischaracterize her job, is she the director of? Uh, Tina. Tina. Tina is the administrator. Was on vacation today. Oh. Okay. So, do you so think, oh, have her come and talk to us. So do you think, have her come and provide that for us, mm -hmm. that information? I can have copies of this for you and put it in your boxes so you have Right, so I'd like at the next meeting, the next subcommittee meeting, and we're going to talk about that in a second, because Dan, I know, has got to get going. Um, if we could have Tina and Mr. Dunham there just to kind of go over everything. And in the meantime, I'd like to do a little research about, you know, what, you know, what, what the other area boards are doing. Yep, I have it listed. Oh, perfect. If you have that, then yep. that would be great. Okay, so we'll put that over for, I'm not sure, we're going to talk about it right now. Um, do we need a subcommittee? You have nothing on the agenda new that I see on the city council agenda, correct? I don't Karen? see anything here. No. Okay. No, for transfers and things like that. No, I thought you kind of had enough. <laughs> so, so aside from this this issue, mm -hmm. um, how soon do they need to know this? I mean, I don't want to hold up a raise if we're willing to do it. 
Well, no, but what I, what I was going to propose is we'll, it, we probably won't have, because it's Thanksgiving week anyway, we won't have a subcommittee meeting, right. but at the December uh, second meeting, I'll set a public hearing for the second meeting in December or the council. And we'll have a meeting. So and then we'll, we'll have a meeting. We'll do, we will have that meeting like December 9th. Uh, I don't know. if we, do we need a public hearing for this? We'll have to check with Barbara. Check with Barbara on that. Okay. If we don't need a public hearing, maybe uh, we'll, well, we we'll won't be able to bring it. Do it to the second meeting the in second December, meeting which will get it in in way. place by the first if if it's agreed upon by the council. So I have I you. I think we had to have a public hearing because the way we was discussed at the last meeting is the attorney said hmm? you can act on hmm. it. Or Absolutely. You with the full council. No, I'm not going to. That's why I said I was going to set that. At I have your next December. meeting for December 9th. It right? won't go to the second council meeting. This Are we saying December 9th? Just, I have you on. scheduled for December 9th for, for finance, correct? Yes, I hope to have that meeting, the December 9th meeting. Go ahead. What you're looking at is the 23rd, maybe? 23rd, maybe not having, because okay. that's the day before Thanksgiving. Right. So I was thinking Christmas. we would have. Um, Christmas. I can't be here for the 9th. Can you, JP? Or you want to be here for this, baby? Right. I think we should I'm okay. Here. I can I I can say right now that, that I'm okay with okay. providing this raise. I think they do a lot of work, especially if 71 boards are. Because that, that may be uh, that all we have is is just having now we're having. It's Tina not unique. In, in, uh, right. But I can do the night. Uh, I can't do the night. I have to. I promise they will. Yeah, go ahead. Again. All right. So I, I'm assuming there's no more minutes. So. Right. Right. We're just checking on Dan. Uh, yeah. I can do the ninth. I can put right now and do the tenth. You well, I can't do either anything that, that week. That's is that the nutcracker week? Okay. Well, why don't we set it for the ninth? My third. Dan's sort of supportive, and we'll get all the information hopefully. Because I don't want to hold it up. Hey, if if we're going to approve do it, do it, we'll get it done by the <laughs> before the first of the year. I'm serious. But I do want to see all the documentation. A what? A mother ginger? I don't know what mother ginger is. Um, Anything Michael else, Jane, you want to say before uh -huh. we depart? Okay. okay. And you will get us those things. Uh, sure. Just put them in there. Perfect. You sit in a big uh, Motion to adjourn. Uh, we'll move. Okay. okay. Motion to adjourn. So we okay. had uh, a couple of uh, Congress. Not Congress.